What's up everybody? This is the Higa Monster, Pro Strongman and Raw Powerlifter for the USAPL. Today we are at Barbell Brigade and we're going to go over some tire flipping. Uh, I think tire flipping is a great event to add into your training. It really builds work capacity and if you've never flipped a tire, even if you flip a 500 pound tire for like 100 feet, it'll really get your heart rate going. I'm going to go over three uh, things that I think are important with training a tire. Number one, a lot of people think that they got a bicep curl a tire. Absolutely do not do that, please. I don't want to see anybody get injured and hurt. Uh, a lot of people will go grab like a 700 pound tire, they get under it and they kind of go like a sumo deadlift stance and they're trying to lift this tire off the ground. And I've seen a lot of guys pop their biceps because of that. Uh, what you want to think of if you can is when you get under the tire, your chest should be on the top edge of the tire and I'm kind of like on my toes, kind of like a, like a football player, like a lineman. I'm not on my heels, I want to dig my chest into it and like an Olympic weightlifter, I want to break this tire off the ground at full extension as much as possible so that I can get under and just tip it over on the tipping point. You don't want to get under the tire so low and then you're ended up like holding it here again on your biceps or it's all on your leg. I mean, having a 700 pound tire on the front of your leg like this is not fun and it actually really saps a lot of strength because imagine your one leg's trying to hold all that weight. So use your hips. Our hips is our strongest joint in our body. Get on that tire, full hip extension, and get it to the point where I'm basically switching my hands and tilting it over easily. If you are flipping a tire and you feel like when you transition your hands and it's just a simple push, makes it a whole lot easier. Another thing you should do too when you flip a tire is this, especially in strongman. If you're training for a strongman contest for the first time, when you flip that tire, don't just let it fall by itself. Get on that tire, push it as hard as you can so it scoots about two to three feet, hopefully. And I'm telling you, that'll add up when you gotta flip a tire for like 80 feet to almost one whole tire length. Because if you just let it fall, take your time, flip it again, let it fall. You're gonna kick yourself in the butt when you're one tire flip short where I could have just pushed it a little further and cumulatively would have been one flip. So finally, I think tire flipping is a good way uh, to work on your conditioning first of all, but it also has a good carryover into powerlifting in my opinion. Because if I'm not explosive out of the hole breaking this 700 or 800 pound tire with my hips, I'm not gonna come out of the hole in a squat either really fast. And trust me, if you flip like a 800 pound tire, like eight to 10 flips, it gets gnarly, but it makes it a lot easier for me to come out of the hole on a power squat, a regular power lifting squat, because I'm so used to flipping a tire for a great amount of distance and having all that lactic acid build up and stuff, you know? So use it, try it, and if you can, find one at your local gym or tire shop and just try and you know flip one around, man, it's great.